11 a.m. It is now 9.16. So Jace got up for a little bit and he's doing one of my biggest pet peeves today, which is where he like gets up and goes straight on his phone, which I do sometimes too. But he goes on his phone and then like gets up and goes to the bathroom and then gets back into bed. So this morning when he went to the bathroom, he had already been laying in bed for too long for my preference because I'm like, let's get up, let's get our chores done, let's get working, let's like, I'm, I'm a morning person, like, let's get the day going. When he went to the bathroom, I took all the bedding off the bed because I wanted to wash it and I'm like, okay, he's not going to get back into bed. Why is this man in bed right now? No sheets, just the blanket with no duvet on it. We have to go get him up. My laundry right now. The machine is being so loud. Let's go get this man up. I don't know what he thinks is going on today. The vacation is over. Are you there? <laughs> Hi. I'm always. You think you're ready to get out of bed now? <laughs> yes, I am. I was just sleepy. I didn't sleep yesterday. You came home and took like a three hour nap after we got home. Well, I was still tired. I don't know what to tell you. This man needs to get up. It's time for chores to be done. Turn the heater on. It's cold in here. It's been so cold. I'm gonna make our coffees, it's gonna be loud, so I'll be right back. You can hear my space heater on disregard. It's freezing in here. You know it's cold when I'm drinking a hot coffee. My revolve order's here, let's unbox. Let's see what they sent me. What's your Nixie? First up is this cardigan. I feel like these brands could afford to not use plastic. Here she is. It's like an oversized with like balloon sleeve. Cute. I love the color. I'll link everything too. That's from a brand called Tu La Rosa. Auntie, are you standing on mommy's new clothes? I was just saying in a video where I did this makeup how I need to or how I want to figure out my personal style a little bit more. So that's what this order is. So that's what this order is kind of starting. This is like a cute turtleneck cutoff tank top that I got to go underneath something else. Okay, baby. This is just a tiny little like cami that has lace on it from super down. It's like basics. I think I got a lot of basics here. This is also from Academy, I think is how you pronounce this. And it's just like a super cropped knit situation and the top I wanted to go underneath this they didn't send me so I think I might have to order it myself hey get up there this is like a navy blue and I had a really cute outfit idea for this one this is also from Academy, and I got that red turtleneck to go under it it's like a little v-neck sweater and red, and red is one of my favorite colors to wear. These are from the brand Hours, I think. Yeah. I hope these fit. I got a size medium. They're like lace up, faux leather, and they're kind of like a little flared at the bottom. And they have a zipper in the back. I don't think I've ever had anything from this brand, or maybe I have a pair of shoes from them. This is the brand Song of Style. These pants looked so cute. They're not a size 28. We'll see. 
they're like kind of baggy but they're supposed to be low rise they're very baggy at the bottom and last is one of the things i've had in my cart for a long time but i've just never ended up getting them because i don't know i just feel like when am i gonna wear these also but that's my thing is like if i want to wear something i should i should wear it i shouldn't act like i need a special opportunity so these are like these green leathery pants that have like these i wonder how this is gonna look on my hips actually now that i'm thinking about it aren't they cute let me try these on so i'm starting to work on my vision board I think I'm gonna do like a whole separate video, like one Vlogmas video will be about my like end of year kind of vibes. <laughs> Why do I always say vibes? My end of year vibes and kind of what I do to set my goals and plan for the following year. And this year will be a little bit different because I do have um, Arlo Mars added in. So that's another thing that I need to kind of set my goals for and do things like that. Arlo Mars kind of, we had so many other things planned for Arlo Mars this year. It's crazy like once you actually start, let me set this down. It's kind of wild once you start a brand and actually like put it into the world, how quickly things go. And I think we kind of underestimated that a little bit because originally, sorry, I have to turn my heater on. It's gonna be an annoying sound. We originally had Arlo Mars planned to be like this big drop of a clothing line and we had several pieces. We had the sweats and the tank top that you saw or that you've seen, um, just the original colors, not red. But with that, we had several other items that were supposed to come out, some accessories, some other clothing pieces that were really cool. And over the year as we were starting to produce samples and things like that we realized that maybe that wasn't the exact direction that we wanted to go in and kind of had to pivot a little bit and then we launched with our tanks and the hat which is one of my favorite pieces and uh did i say the pants or the tank top anyway you guys saw what we launched with and i did that whole video and then we decided because of how much everyone loved the first pair of sweats and the tank top that we were going to pivot again and do our red collection and do that as like our holiday thing, which ended up working out really well, but it wasn't the original plan at all. And so I kind of feel like now Arlo Mars has this like sweatpant loungewear vibe, which was not the plan at all from the beginning and it's not going to be a loungewear brand if that makes sense we definitely have a lot of other things coming for arlo mars and it's we don't even know if it's just going to be a clothing brand like we just want it to be arlo mars and let it be whatever it it turns out to be whatever we want it to be so i kind of wanted to gauge like get some feedback from anyone who's purchased or even if you've just looked at the website or instagram what do you want to see from Arlo Mars? I just, like, my mom and I have all these ideas for the brand. I'm just curious to see, like, what, like, from what we've shown so far, what is in your mind? Like, what are you thinking it's going to be kind of thing? So, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts if you have any. If you're comfortable with sharing, you can always DM me on Instagram, too. I love to chat in my DMs about stuff. But, yeah, so I'm starting to do my vision slash mood board for 2023 i'm actually really excited for 2023 because i feel like 2022 sucked ass for me i've actually not been doing so well lately a little bit mentally but i think a lot of it has to do with family stuff like that always puts a damper on me and then other stuff that's going on and i'm not gonna bore you with it but i'm just so excited to kind of like mentally close this chapter of a year and be like okay 2023 let's start off strong let's you know it's not even january yet and i'm already like planning these things and just trying to get back into routine i know i've talked about it before but i got super inconsistent with work this year 
as far as like posting on my own Instagram account and um, being on YouTube or being on TikTok and things like that. And I really enjoy creating. That's kind of a bummer when I look back at my Instagram, I'm like, I didn't do anything this year really. So I'm trying to just get ahead of everything and start off the new year in a good headspace. So I'm gonna put all of this, like me creating my mood board and stuff in the next video. So if you're interested to see how I like create my mood board, I still have to cover one thing up because it's something else that didn't happen this year, but it's gonna happen hopefully next year. And I'll talk about that then. But I kind of have just like, I put some inspo on here of like photography that I really liked. I have like, your future self is waiting on you. I should probably put that in this year's because, I mean, I worked on my mental health this year, so I gotta give myself some credit. I have a picture of Kate Moss because I just love her and she's inspiring to me. Oh look, I did, I put this mirror on here and I did, I did buy this mirror this year. <laughs> you see it back here? I just put like some fun makeup stuff. I will miss this background, but it's time. I've had this background on my phone for a whole year and it's just time to start something new. So I'm starting on Pinterest. Again, I'll share all this in my next video if you're interested. So that'll be up tomorrow. Someone asked me when your cookbook is coming out. When it gets cheaper to make the cookbook. You know, I have got so far along now. No, you've totally stopped working on it. Well, I have stopped working on it because it felt like a dead end for me. I need help. I told you I would help you find a way to get it made. And you looked up like one place. It was, well, it just seemed like... Jace is not a businessman, and he... Yeah. Well, here's the problem. I felt like the price uh, to print the book was so high that there's no... It would it would have been so ridiculous the amount of money I would have had to charge for the book for people to have it and for me to even, like, break even on it. So I... Until I find a new way to do it... I looked pretty hard. And, you know, people are like, oh, just do those direct to print Amazon things and stuff, but those are rip off too, so. So, in conclusion. In conclusion, I need a publisher. <laughs> in conclusion, if people still want the cookbook, I obviously need to get to work on it because I'm the business most, person all, in the family. Most of the pictures have been taken. Can you um, sign us off since you won't be here tomorrow? I won't? What do you mean? You said you're working all day. Well, yeah, until about four. I got two. I'm doing a, a book, some kind of weird book. <laughs> and then I'm recording a show on Amazon. Okay, can you sign us off? Goodbye. For now. Everybody. <laughs> How you been? How you doing? Thanks so much for the mic, Emery.